A school district in Virginia has decided to shut down all schools today because of a controversial Islam assignment that one of the teachers assigned. Now, the teacher who assigned it is not Muslim. Uh, in fact, the teacher who assigned it is being protected by the superintendent of the Augusta County Schools. However, um, the county school official said there was no specific threat or harm, but Thursday afternoon, extracurricular activities were canceled as well. The, the lesson is kind of controversial if you ask me, okay? So the whole point of the assignment was to uh, be part of a broader unit on major world religions and ask students to copy Islamic religious calligraphy, right? So that in and of itself doesn't sound bad. I did a little more digging to figure out exactly what it was that parents were so outraged about, and it was that the students had to write, there is no God, but God and Muhammad is the prophet of God. Right. So that's the most common thing in Islam. That, that's the, the main same. pillar. Basically. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to say. That's like the, in the Ten Commandments when it says, "Don't pray to other gods. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm the only God." Right. So that's the equivalent of that in Islam. I, I see where you're going with this, Anna. That that is um, a little problematic because of separation of church and state. Exactly. I yeah. wouldn't want that written in English. I don't. The fact that it's in Arabic. I don't think makes it better. It's only, the only reason it might make it better is because the kids have no idea what they're writing. Yeah, but that's right. a really, I, I'm going to disagree with you 100. percent This is a real, this, is, this is a course. This is not, it's not teaching religion. It's a course on religion. Religion is an acceptable thing to teach in schools. It's a necessary thing to teach in schools. It's an interesting. Mean, you know, I wouldn't teach it to middle schoolers, but definitely you teach it to high schoolers, and they learn about the world's great religions. This just in, Islam is one of them. Um, and uh, and so you know. Learning the art, that's an interesting way to do it. I mean, what kind of bonehead parents think you're actually indoctrinating the kids? Or like converting them. Converting them because the they're spot. copying. A lot. No, a lot okay, but they're wrong. But the, that, yeah, the, teacher needs to have, the teacher needs to be empowered to do that. I, and and I get, I'm not upset at the schools for closing things down to make sure there's no, that nothing happens and protecting the teacher. God bless them. The parents are insane in this regard. There's no, it's not a separation of church and Wait, state. Wait, you, you agree issue. with the school for shutting down? They basically I, took winter break early. Isn't that a little rash? Like maybe. No, they, no, no. He's saying the opposite. I'm oh. saying, no, no. I, I don't know because the limited information we have here, if the school thought their parents are angry, I don't want to riot of parents, I don't want people screaming. If the, if the school's first priority, I always think no matter what, everybody's safe. Let's keep everybody Everyone safe. Was so, safe no Everyone safe. was safe, though. So Everyone was safe. There was so no they, threat so what, whatsoever. Oh, so they no shut threat. it down. They, so they shut basically, it down because parents were upset about it. That's it. They parents did their homework. Upset. That's it. And they decided, you know what? We're just going to shut down. There's no threat. It clearly says it right here. No specific threat or harm. But they shut it down anyway over this lesson. I don't like the lesson. Okay, first of all, indoctrinating is one thing. I don't think that it's indoctrinating them if they have no freaking idea what they're writing. But really, they're learning how to write calligraphy. With as long as like you want to teach yeah. calligraphy, okay, I'm not into it, but you teach calligraphy. But I'm not sure class. I want uh, kids <laughs> writing Jesus Christ is the Son of God in Spanish, even if they don't understand it in Spanish. Let's pick something else to write. Okay, but, right? I mean, but we're, you, we're yeah. like, but let's let the teachers teach. I mean, they're teachers. Let's let's let them do their goddamn job. Like, like, I mean, we're sitting here. We don't have the full thing. We're like, I don't know. She's a teacher. We're not teachers. I get it. I probably wouldn't do it either. But. But it's not dangerous to write something no. down on paper. No. It's, it's an odd assignment, but it's not dangerous. It's right. and no, I think that I, that yeah, look, so guys, let me just be clear. Of course it's not dangerous, but when the, the football coach uh, takes a knee and prays, we don't let him do that because it's of separation of church and state. That's also not dangerous 99% of the time. No, no, we don't let him. Well, do you it. didn't let him do it like at your school, in, but it happens all over the freaking country. No, I hear you, but the courts say you shouldn't do it, and if they find out about it, they, they prevent it. And they usually pray for everybody's safety in the game. So it's definitely not dangerous. So, but you still have to have separation of church and state. Now, that being said, I agree with you guys completely that you don't shut the school down over it. If somebody <laughs> writes down Jesus or Moses or Allah, nothing happens to the school because, first of all, because they don't exist. <laughs> okay, but second of all, like you could, you should have an, hey, should we do that? Let's have a conversation about that. Uh, but it's not, oh my God, somebody said Allah. Shut the school down. That's reactionary and silly. Obviously. Because the odds are they're probably like, they probably have like a winter, I don't know, musical mm -hmm. or something where they sing Christmas carols, which I grew up doing. You know, I'm not Christian, but nobody had a problem with that. And so does your same argument about separation of church and state hold when it comes to like, you know, assemblies where you sing Christmas carols? But Dina, everybody enjoys Christmas carols. <laughs> Come on. I mean, but singing Christmas true. carols is literally no different. I'm pro Santa. Like, but it's no different. I don't like, care about the coach we, taking We would sing about Christ being the care. Lord and stuff in yeah. a public school in San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, but Noel is the king of Israel. <laughs> I mean, that's a fact, isn't it? <laughs>
<laughs> Anyways, I think this I think this was a little bit of overblown of yeah, a reaction. Yeah, it was definitely right, I overblown. thought there was, but yeah, I mean, but anyway, but I'm curious, is it a calligraphy class or is it a religion class? Yeah, that's the part, yeah. The, if it's a religion seems, class, I say have at it. If it's a calligraphy class, I'm like, calligraphy something else. This was specifically <laughs> it was a broader unit on, on religion. Major this world was, religion. Yes, it was I'm on I'm gonna religion, let her teach so. a class. You think about teachers and they get their lesson assignments, whatever they're gonna do, and Teachers don't have, don't necessarily, maybe some really good ones do, but she's not going to go through too much research to find the necessary thing of this Middle Eastern text to make sure she makes something else written. This is the most common thing, as you guys said, is written for this right. particular religion. It was easy to get. Oh, it was easy. There it is. Let's do this because we're about to go on winter vacation. Who cares? So she put that out there because it was an easy lesson, and that's the reason she chose that point. I don't think she had this agenda in mind, and then if they see it, it's going to morph into their head and turn into some kind of like... It like changes again. their brain. <laughs> and also, there's just no parallel to this kind of thing being done. Like you said, if there was a Christian message written, but in Spanish. I don't know if there's I, a parallel, I, you know? So I just she was, it, it was a lazy move. So she used I that. Think it was I just a lazy see it as yet another episode yeah. of the rampant Islamophobia that's out there and that's growing. And there's a reason why Muslim American leaders in this country and community, members of the community are saying, we have never had it this bad. Not even after 9 11 has it been this bad. Let me finally just quickly agree all around with everybody. JR, of course, it's the first thing she found, of course. Yeah, that's right. right. That's oh, great. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, she's not, I mean, if she was Muslim and had been saying pro Muslim things before, I think that would have been in the story. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> right, and she okay. wouldn't be in Augusta County. Really. Yeah. Uh, so, and and secondly, of course, keeping it real, this is, uh, Dina. This is the, the real problem is the Islamophobia. I mean, even seeing Muslim words is freaking is shutting schools down. I mean, again, what have we become? This is absolute Muslim, madness. Muslim words that you literally can't even read. By the way, there are no such thing as Muslim words. Right, right. Arabic words, okay? Um, but it's like, oh my God, it's about Islam! Run for the door! And, and that type of calligraphy is in some of our country's finest museums, by the way, Islamic calligraphy, just like just like that. By the way, they should Davis, be shut down. Davis Guggenheim's yeah, film. Davis Guggenheim's film. He named me Malala. Uh -huh. uh, available now. Everybody should see it. Inspiring. It's great. It's about her and her dad and her parents and her mom, but mostly she and her dad. It's Really good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And and I've got a note just to clarify for the record. Noel is from the North Pole and not likely the king of Israel. America, cut the calligraphy out. It's bullshit. Dangerous to your kids. <laughs>